I'm Steve, a Dutch artist, and in this video I'm going to explain how to do a parallax effect in Moho. This is part three of the series Protecting Ocean's Hole. You can check the other videos and I'll leave a link below this video. Uh, the first video I made was about painting uh, Protecting Ocean's Hole in watercolors in Procreate. In the second video I showed you how you can animate in Procreate, how to animate water and fire. And in this video I'm just going to import all of these files into Photoshop. So here is the file. I also colored the dragon. And just going to show you all the layers of the PSD file. There's a background layer that's just white. There's a, a background layer with the forest in the background, the middle background, the dragon in color, the knight in color, the bridge, water white, just to, you know, make an opaque layer, the rocks and the foreground left and the foreground right. And I'm going to export this or import it into Moho. And I also made the animation of the fire. And I renamed them all in Photoshop because when you want to export it, it needs to be um, in the right name size. You can do that in uh, Procreate as well, but this is uh, a little bit faster because I have a keyboard to do it. So what I do to export the animation is go to File, Export, and don't do a quick export as PNG because then it will only export the first layer. I'm going to export it as layers to files. And then you get a new window. Just tap on Browse. And I just want it in this folder. It's always good practice to have a separate folder for each kind of animation you're using. And then press on open. You have different uh, file types and I'm using the PNG 24 because it has transparency. Also uh, check transparency, otherwise you have a white background and we just want the animation, you know, to have a transparent background. And then you can run the script and then, you know, each layer will be exported as a separate file. And that we can use to import into Moho. So this takes a little while to export and you get uh, a pop-up when you know it is finished. Export layers to files was successful. Just press OK and we can check it in the folders. So this is what the exported files look like. Only um, Photoshop, this script, you know, doesn't uh, export it um, the way I like because I want to export it like Ocean's Hole Fire V015. So what I now have to do is do this by hand just to rename them and rename them all. And fortunately, this isn't too many files to change. So when I have changed that, I'm also going to uh, export the water. And I already made uh, different frames for the water. And I'm going to run the same script. So go to export layers to files and then I'm going to export it to a different folder uh, which is the um, oceans whole uh, water uh, folder but I already you know exported it so 
so now I have all the files ready for Moho and I'm not going to open up Moho and here's the original file already. What you can do is press new then a new file is created but I'm going to project settings because by default it's, it's set to 720p and I want it to be 1080p at 24 frames per second. Then press OK. On the right you have the layers and you can press on new layer then you get some options and we're going to import the image. So I'm going to import Ocean's Hole, open, and then you get a pop-up window, then choose uh, import individually, because then all the layers will be imported as separate layers. So I'm just gonna zoom out, and here's the entire file. What I'm now going to do is import the water and I have to do it on top of the layer of the water white. You can see it here. I'm going to press on new layer again and now you have to choose image sequence because when you import as an image you only get the first frame of the animation. So go to image, image sequence, and then I can choose the water folder, import it, and what I like to do is double tap it. Then you can rename the layer, water, and when you press on image, on the image tab, you can change some things. I want the animation to loop, so I check loop movie indefinitely. And you can also change the frames per second. I've made it at eight frames per second, so I'm gonna change it to eight and then apply it. Now you can check it by you know just running the timeline. I'm also going to do the animation for the fire that's going to be on top of the bridge folder. Always be on frame zero because when you import it uh, in the timeline then the animation would you know work from from that frame on. So always go to frame zero and now I'm going to import the fire image sequence and you only have to choose the first frame so if you name them accordingly in in your Photoshop file then it will import the entire animation just rename it fire go to image loop movie indefinitely and change the frames per second to eight. So now you can already run the animation. And what I'm now going to do is make the parallax effect. And you can do that by going to frame zero again to set it up because Moho does have a camera you can move around, just choose the camera and you can, you know, pan it around. But now all the layers are set to the same uh, Z depth. The background layer is the furthest away. Then you have the middle background. And what you now can do is when you press the layers, the, the transform tool, you can set the Z depth of your layer. And you can do that uh, in the position tab, because here's the X, Y, and Z, and Z is the depth of, of your layer. 
So I'm going to change that to 0 0.1. You can see that it, you know, comes a little bit closer. The dragon and the knight need to be on the same layer as the bridge. So I'm going to set that to dot, uh, 0 0.3. Also, the night, 0 0.3, and the bridge, 0 0.3, and also the fire because it's, you know, it's in front of the bridge, but 0 0.3. The water is a little bit closer to you, so I can change the depth to 0 0.3. Four. and this is the water white and that needs to be the same as the water animation so 0 0.4 and also the rocks are in the same position and the foreground I'm going to make a Z depth of 0 0.5 0 0.5 and when you now use the uh, camera to move it around you can see that there is a parallax effect and now only thing you need to do is to animate the camera so you can change uh, the position of the camera but also scale it just let's start here and then go to um, frame one and set the location and also the, the size of your camera because this blue line is the camera in Moho. And I first want to, you know, pan up maybe two, six seconds. This animation is 10 seconds. So maybe to six or seven even. And now you can change the position. So you move up first to see the dragon. And from there on, you know, you can show the rest of the scene. And maybe zoom out a little. And keep everything within the frame. What you also can do is reset the view by pressing on the magnifying glass then tap on reset view and you know in the preview window you cannot see the entire animation but when you press the space bar you know you can already see the effect of the the parallax effect made some changes because this is the original file i'm just going to zoom out a little because I didn't color the entire uh, thing. So I added some bones to, um, I'm just gonna go to frame zero. I added some bones to the night and it's just a very simple animation. And you can layer bind uh, some PNG images as well in, in Moho. That's what I really like about Moho because I've made a lot of uh, children's books uh, animations where I get the original images and these are all pixel based. And then I use these uh, bones to create the animation. And this is just a simple animation with, uh, and I just want the horse you know, to react a little because this animation is a little bit in, in slow motion. And also 
rigged the uh, the dragon so that you also can animate it and I'm just going to render this and then you have the entire animation I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification drawing is fun and practice makes perfect see you next time doodles